you're gonna learn the difference between an in the money, an at the money, and an out of the money option. You're also gonna learn how options are priced, and you're gonna understand the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic value. We're also gonna talk about the option Greeks, and you're gonna really have a firm understanding on the delta, the gamma, the theta, and the vega, and you're gonna understand volatility and the difference between historical versus implied volatility. You're also gonna learn how options are priced and be able to have a firm and comfortable understanding on how to read the options chain. And we're gonna finish this section off by having a live interactive demonstration on how to read an option and dive through the different parameters of what you wanna look for when you're trading a specific option trade. Now, whenever you're trading options, whether it be a call or a put, they're gonna fall in one of these three different categories. So the first term that you're gonna learn is ITM. This is the acronym for an in the money option or in the money. The next is called ATM, that's at the money. And then the third category is called OTM or out of the money. When you have an in the money option, it's gonna be below the strike price and at the money is the closest to the current trading price. And then the out of the money is anything above the current trade price. You make enormous returns when you're trading options, when you buy inexpensive out of the money options options and then they become in the money. The three factors that influence the price of an option, whether it be a call or a put, consist of price, time, and volatility. And options are made up of two different things. You have intrinsic value and extrinsic value. Intrinsic value is known as the real value in your option. And then the extrinsic value is known as the time value in an option. Intrinsic value is found in those in the money options. And then the extrinsic value is found in your at the money or your out of the money options. So the four elements elements that comprise extrinsic value include time decay, implied volatility, interest rates, and dividends. Being able to understand the different metrics here and what to look at, what to look for, how to change it, become comfortable and confident on how to analyze your trades, look at an option chain and know where the interest is, what the volume looks like, and how to determine if that specific contract or trade makes sense due to a couple different factors. Is it liquid? Is the bid ask spread relatively tight? Is there a good amount of volume and open interest, you want to be able to have liquidity whenever you're trading any type of financial product. All of these different option expiration months to choose from can be a little overwhelming, and I understand that. That's why I'm here to tell you that it's important to take a lot of the guesswork out of this, and the way that you do that is by process of elimination. But before we get to that, I want to explain what some of these things mean. You have all of these different expiration months, and the ones that are in red are non-standard expirations, meaning they're either weekly expiration or quarterly and that's perfectly fine and you can be very very successful trading options that expire in a week or a specific quarter and it's important to understand that you have all of these different options available that you can use to your advantage these tools probability of in the money and probability of out of money are great ways to fine-tune and simplify the process on which strike price to pick of the expiration month that you feel comfortable trading practice paper trade and understand this so that you can become better, you can educate yourself and have the confidence and the ability to make educated decisions that make sense. The most important aspect of option pricing is known as your delta, and it also is your directional risk on a trade. Just to give you a little insight, the deeper in the money you go, the higher the delta. When you purchase call options or you purchase a call, you're long delta or you have a positive delta. You would make money as prices rises with positive deltas because that means you're long shares. Professional options traders look for options with a delta that is suitable to his or her own risk tolerance. This is also known as your delta comfort zone. Gamma is known as the rate of change of delta. And the easiest way to explain it is that gamma is what calculates how fast the delta changes for every one point move in the underlying stock. Now, the more gamma that a position has, the more significant it can change or grow. Gamma is what intensifies the pain intensifies the losses in a trade and it also intensifies the pleasure or the profits in an options trade. If you can have a gamma that's changing your delta, you can have a trade that might be bullish out of the gate turn completely bearish on a couple of changes in the underlying stock or index. Theta is the measure that an option changes from the passage of time and it's done so on a daily basis. The amount of decay that an option carries is identified by the theta and this is known in option trading 
terms as the theta risk. Longer term options such as leaps carry very small theta decay risk. You can do very well in a directional market up or down and be able to minimize that theta decay that really cripples a lot of new traders. Time decay is the enemy of option buyers and time decay is the friend of option sellers. It's important that you understand that theta can be negative and it's, it's not negative here because I created a spread trade and I sold a more valuable option, a more expensive option than the one that I purchased. We are high probability traders and we want to utilize technology in the most effective way for us. So that's why I'm showing you this and giving you the demonstration and the ability to do the same for yourself. Looking at the trade, you can understand what my Greeks are, what my delta risk is, what the gamma is, which is normal, which is relatively flat because it's a spread trade. And the theta, which is roughly six, means that every day this position is going to make six dollars for the passage of time. You can have the same scenario and you can make money from the passage of time. And the beautiful thing about theta is that it works on weekends, it works on holidays, and no matter what happens, it's always going to be something that exists. And that's really a powerful thing when you're looking for consistency. Vega indicates how much the option price will go up or down for every 1% change in the underlying implied volatility, which is going to be listed on all option chains. It's good to sell options that have high Vega or implied volatility. My Vega is 1,237 Vega long. If I have a volatility contraction, then these options, which I'm long Vega, are going to suffer. Now on the flip side, if you see a 5% increase in volatility, then the opposite would happen. The trade would be even. You can position yourself for success by just being comfortable and understanding how to read your option positions by magnifying and understanding what's my delta risk, what's my gamma risk, what's my theta risk, and what's my vega risk. When you get all of that taken care of, then you're going to be setting the foundation and you're going to be ready to embark upon the future modules in this program to where you can submit yourself for long-term success in this business. And that's my goal for you. So until next time, happy trading.